Oh, what a wow day. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Weird word. Uh, I'm Ben, and I'm thrown off a lot, your host. So and that's Rainy. Rainy. Yeah. And Rainy. Welcome to the Journals of Awakening. Ben just learned what the word woe means, okay? She's been so, reading too many goddamn books. No, babe. Is. I've yeah. known that, that word since I was a child. Any of you average people like me know what woe is? Everyone knows what woe is. Comment below. My question is... It's definitely something you learn in school, okay? I so didn't go to school with, much. So Ben's like, pick a picture for our podcast. And I'm like, that one. She's obviously woeful. And Ben's like, nobody is going to put those two together. Yeah, it was just a woman crying. Yeah, she was, whoa. And I would have thought, like, she was left. No, because She listen, just got left. <laughs> listen to my next theory. You... Didn't learn in school. <laughs> what? <laughs> so school teaches you context clues. You uh, see a title that says cannabis and bedtime woes, and then you see a girl going like this. That obviously goes together. But not even a little bit. Yes, if I were to does. see that, I would think that woman gets headaches from cannabis. No. <laughs> you know the curriculum in school changed dramatically, right? I I just think no, it yeah. didn't. Yes, it did. I didn't learn algebra till fifth grade. What grade did you learn algebra? Algebra. Algebra putting letters on math problems. Eighth grade? What? You guys are getting dumber? Yeah. <laughs> They're just teaching you grammar and no math now? Yeah, when, when, no, math and no grammar. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, that makes sense, though, because everybody's like, oh, I, I, I know all these sensitive words, but I don't know how to do money. Well, maybe that's because sensitive words are more important. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> you got me there. That's um, true. But, yeah, like eighth grade. But anyway, so, yeah, so I really like language arts and stuff. But What? Just, <laughs> Who likes language arts? What are you doing, language arts? You learn like, the what art is that of class? our language. Oh, I thought it was like history. I never paid attention to language oh, arts. That's called history. Oh, I, I ditched history. I hate history. I hate history. History but is I like such it. a lie. No, I like it now that I read, you know, because it changes Because you read the, the real history. Yeah. You're not reading what the schools are I'm trying to teach you. Indoctrinate and indoctrinate you. You know, stories that people have passed down. So it's just really interesting. So I guess today we're here to talk about how dumb Ben is in his vocabulary, right? <laughs> is that what we're doing? That's fine. No, I'm good with it. Everybody knows I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little tired, you know? No, good. stop. Let's do it. No, I wanted to. I wanted to talk about school. So you can ask me how to spell any word, and I'll get it wrong. Go ahead. Go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of one. No, you could literally say anything. All right. Spell the word caution. <laughs> can I look behind? No. Me? Oh. No. 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 C o u a t i o n. So anyway, um, caution. <laughs> so you even knew that was wrong. <laughs> Escape. Ben always, I learned how to spell escape from Finding Nemo. Ben also likes to pretend he's dumb. I do. But I think that the school system has a lot to do with it. Because you say we're getting dumber, but I just think that it's gotten more like developed, right? Yeah, I Every think time. common sense fell out the window and now they're teaching you book shit. Like, they're like, eh, they don't need to know how to wipe their ass, but we should teach them how to spell. That's what I think. I think people have a lot of, like, smarts, brain smarts these days, but most of them lack common sense. I really, really want to disagree with that, but I don't really know anybody who's in their 30s and is, like, book smart. Wasn't a thing in my day. <laughs> yeah. Like, well... I don't think it's common sense. I think that you were naturally gifted with common sense, just like Connor. He's very, he's got a lot of common sense, you know? I think it's a, I think it comes from being like a, a hover parent or a helicopter parent. I really don't think it does. I think you had helicopter parents and I didn't have parents. So you had to like calm in your own I had sense? to figure, <laughs> I had to learn everything the hard way. Nobody told me, don't do that or you'll do this. No, it was more like, do that, oh, ah, never doing that again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You know, my mom definitely taught me, like, how to live, you know, and consequences to things. My dad never really did. He doesn't really, he doesn't really talk much. No, her dad's chill. He's like a stoner if a stoner got old. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. he just, like, doesn't think of those kinds of things. But my mom, she's got, like, anxiety that yeah. she might not know about, and she's always thinking of those kinds of things. 
but the school system you know I don't know what it's like to be a kid in school these days because I feel like I feel like kids aren't really like learning as much well that's okay because you have your whole life to live and that's also what college is for is if you want to like extend your learning mm -hmm. kindergarten Louisiana Missouri I watched my principal whoop some with a paddle in front of the whole school on top of the stage. I think that was the last year they allowed it. Yeah, can you, it really was, yeah. Can you imagine? Like, Jesus. That kid was a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. He probably gets beat at home. Oh, yeah. He's going home to get beat more. Yeah. And then beat. it's just principals beating him with a wooden paddle. Yeah. That's horrid. It's crazy, dude. They don't really misbehave at school unless they've got something going on in life. Exactly. Like, obviously, that kid's got problems, man. Yeah. Like, buy him some food. <laughs> don't be mean to him, you know? <laughs> Get him some pants like to fill, you know? Yeah, you know? it is. It's bullying, yeah. Yeah. I really like that the, my age is, my generation is turning into teachers because my generation really understood what not to do when it comes to taking care of children's emotions you know nobody although there's like bullies and stuff like teachers that oh my god are my age this is so dangerous <laughs> my grinder got stuck closed <laughs> he's using a really sharp knife to get it on the closed yeah. while holding it what you're holding it while you do that oh you did it oh good of course so, i did it <laughs> so anyway uh i'm grateful that kids have teachers like Connor's teacher. She obviously understands four yeah. year olds. Connor's teacher is cool. Like no bullshit understands four year olds. And me, I'm still anxious. So she has everything. four year olds. Yeah. In her class. She's raised two of oh, maybe it's a second parent thing. Like obviously I raised Landon at two. Yeah. But I felt like I it wasn't my child to make decisions for when it comes to discipline. Right. And, you know, they were getting whooped at their mom. So it was right. like, what do we even do? With Connor, I'm like super anxious about it because I feel like I need to be the perfect parent to a four-year-old. So I just judge myself. So it must be like a second child that you have thing to where you understand that four is just a number and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, there's there's levels of uh, of intelligence with humans, you know. Mm -hmm. And when they're young and growing, they really test shit. Obviously, it's what you're supposed to do. You're really supposed to test the limits, you know. Yeah. Lean over as far back as you can before you fall. That way, you know what your limit is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But for real. I'm but I like how he's gonna grow up in a place where education isn't the main priority because it shouldn't be. I talked about that. Yeah, they teach in real life shit. Yes. Yeah. Not indoctrinated school shit, but like how to buckle your belt. Yeah. How to tie your shoe. How to tie your shoe. You know, and like simple shit. How to pour home, a cup of water. like, we don't have to now. No sippy cups. Our kid uses glass. You know, I mean, like he, he learned. Since the beginning. Yeah, no. but he learned like right away. It was no. There's no hover parenting. It's like we're doing it the right way. I really feel like we're we're really. <sighs> Third chance for me is huge because I might that's actually it, I might actually true. get it right. <laughs> that's You've how I like feel. Three whole chances. That's <laughs> just incredible. Good for you. Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> this is like my first real chance, and it's such a wild ride for me. You know, but I I don't think I'd be as anxious if I ever had another if Ben ever lets me have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a battle, y'all. But I think that I'll be more confident. I've you had know? to keep my legs closed for safety. That, <laughs> he's a goddamn liar. Don't listen to him. <laughs> he's a goddamn <laughs> chastity belt. <laughs> but yeah, I I think I'd be more confident the second time around. But uh, I also feel like. I would care just as much. I'd still take monthly photos. Yeah, that's annoying, but yeah. <laughs> See, at the first time we had Connor, you told me you wouldn't do that if we had another one. But I think now you know me that I totally do. I'm a different person. Than when yeah, you know I, now, now you know me. I'm a different like, person. No, it's not just that I know you. It's that I agree with you now. Imagine I believe having in treasuring a three-month-old you know? baby in front of this tapestry every month. <laughs> right there. Why would I put a baby there? No, like like you lay something cup like for his monthly photos kind of thing. In front of Dad's live yeah, <laughs> background. <laughs> that's exactly. when that's when Dad was a superstar on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm, I'm manifesting, bro. That's what that was. I'm you, manifesting. You I'm are. Just... You're already a superstar. <laughs> Thanks. I got my 311 subs, man. Hey, and that's 11 more than I had yet. 10 more than I had yesterday. So I feel that, which is insane. I feel extremely. I'm humbled. gonna check and see if it updated. <laughs> you see if it changed. Yeah. It's... Live. Get me into YouTube, but yeah, no. It's uh. Talk about your YouTube. No, I like. I talk about it every day. <laughs> That's what I do on YouTube. So if you guys want to hear what I have to say about YouTube, go to YouTube. <laughs> that, ha! That's that. Go to YouTube, period. Period. Ooh, that's yeah. cool. Or that too. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. This I guess see what she's looking at. So interesting. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. I think it's fascinating. <laughs> it's like a person in a humming stance. Hum. It's with their legs. Om. Humming stance with their legs crossed. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, see, she knows all this weird shit. You read too many <laughs> books. Like, it's called Um. <laughs> From Umbridge, right? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no. I know jokes. I don't know facts. That's right. I know Ben facts, if you guys don't know me yet. You know what Jason wants for Christmas? What? A book of Ben facts? No. A coin from King Edward III. Second. Who apparently... Third. Third, you sure? Yes. Who apparently wasn't supposed to be the king... So they only made like a thousand coins. He's fascinated with the, what is this, the UK? UK. Yeah, with the UK, UK right history. now. UK history. Yeah, so Kingdom. I got him the right Christmas present that I won't divulge because you never know who's listening. I will. I'm going to give him a bunch of famous coins oh. that I've been collecting. <laughs> <laughs> I like don't, what? I, what? The, all of my Queen Elizabeth the second, and I have a bunch of Queen Elizabeth the you second. You told me to order a Queen Elizabeth coin. No, don't do that. I have like no, don't do I have that. like ten of them. I'll show you, you what I found. You were literally looking over my shoulder. You remember? No. Wow. No. Were you reading? You uh, were probably reading, and hey, you thought Siri, I was actually talking to you, but you were just reading. Is Queen Elizabeth <laughs> the first, the one who died? The first? I don't have any of the first. I'm talking to Siri. Oh, why are you talking hey, to your Siri. phone right now? We're trying to podcast. <laughs> Which queen just died? We can't put Siri's voice on here. We have to have her permission. Queen Elizabeth II. So if you have coins that are Queen Elizabeth II, they're going to be worth so much money. I have tons of in them. In the future. I'm giving them all to Jason. Okay, but I... I don't I, care about the future. He's 10. <laughs> That's why you put them on I know. Okay, so y'all know, I started this coin collection when Jason was born. So I've had it at <laughs> Jason Bourne. <laughs> it's a great movie. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have like... Oh, sh sh like... I want to say like 150 coins probably saved, but they're all very rare. Like 1905 nickels, like dimes, like the only thing I don't have is like a half penny. And I really want one. So don't give them all to him. Oh, I'm not. No, no, no. I've told the boys since they were kids that when you're 18, closer to 16, whatever, is like your first car. I'm going to sell these and get your first car. Okay. Like that's the plan. Not that's po give folk dreams. like one Queen Elizabeth coin. <laughs> Really? Don't give him all of them? No, because he's You 10. heard it, Jason. She decided that. I just don't trust that he's going to keep it until he's 50. And I just don't care about money like that. He loves it, so I want to give it to him. I know, but we're not rich, so it's not like yeah, we have a bunch of We're not going to find a, a freaking buyer <laughs> for our uh, random ass little. coins. Where? Everywhere. eBay's a big one. I don't... No, I don't... I've never been to an eBay store, so, <laughs> and I don't go online much, so no thanks. It's one of those Ben pretends he's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could go to a pawn shop, jewelry store, right, where they melt no, it down, no, but that's all that's I all know. that's all they're going to do. All they're going to do all is I know. melt it down, and yeah. it won't be half as worth it. That's all I know. A coin collector will pay you, let's see, 15 years in the future? Bro. Like fifty thousand dollars. How do you find a coin collector? That's what I'm saying. You just knock on old people's doors and you're like, "Do you collect coins?" No, eBay's really good. I'm sure they have websites for it. Okay, we'll have to look into this, people. She <laughs> says there's technology for this now. I didn't know that. And why coins? How did you get on that? Coins? Um, because it was one of those things. I've been poor my whole life, so like, uh, but you stumble upon rare coins. Like you could spend a dollar and get a rare coin back. Like, by mistake. You know what I mean? And that's how I've collected every one of mine. I've never bought one. Never bought one. But I did metal detect for a couple of years. So that was like a hobby. So I how found, do you know that they're worth found anything? Some cool you, you look them up. got them back in exchange. You because know? it's different. When you look at them, like, uh, I know that coins made before, what is it, 1964 are, are um, mostly silver. So I have a whole crap load of silver coins. Only quarters. Yes. So I have a whole crap load of those. I have those half dollars from back in the day. They're uh -huh. worth like five bucks a piece and silver value. Yeah. Five so, bucks isn't a lot though. No, it's not. But I have a bunch of them. And then I'm talking other ones like 
nickels and dimes from 1905. Like, uh, I have a silver certificate dollar. Yeah, I know, but... Like, like that's rare, bro! <laughs> that's, like, that's like 30 bucks. Yes, I know, but you're saying the Queen Elizabeth crap, I got like 10 of them, you know, like they're going to be worth something. That's Not why right now, because she no, just died. No, none know? of it's worth anything right now, and that's why I have them still. Yeah. I've gone through my struggles to where I've had to sell everything, but I've never touched my coins. Now you said you want to use it to get his first car. Yeah. That's six years away. Yeah. It's not that far. No. I'm sure when he was born, you're but like, I, I got out. 18 years to build this bag. I got, like, in silver value, I could buy him a bicycle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get him a bicycle. That's a first car. Put a little motor on it. It's a first vehicle. <laughs> it's not a car. It's <laughs> hilarious, right? Because I'm sure, yeah, when he was born, you're like, 18 years. Yes, that's, a good long that's time. forever. I'll be saving forever. We'll get something good. But yeah. no, I don't know how the world works. But I figured in 18 years, I'd figure out how to sell them. Well, in six years, Landon's seven. Like, that's younger than Landon. Six mm -hmm. years. That's nothing. So? I'm not worried about it. Okay. It's just money. He'll probably get the Camry. No. <laughs> that's my car. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting rid of my Camry. <laughs> Get it all fixed because by then, I mean, six more years here. If they're anything, we're gonna know lots of people who are willing. If they're anything like their mother, I would never give them my car. Jason will not be like his mother when it comes to I don't to know, driving. man. I think Jason he's gonna have to car. prove that he can change a tire, that he can check his fluids. I can't even change a tire. You're gonna have to learn. <laughs> you want equality? You better freaking learn how to change a tire. <laughs> you heard that. That's right. You men, you get your ass out there and learn how to clean a house. I can do Learn how to cook I've some never, food, man. Knock on wood, because I'm going for a long drive today. I've never needed to change the tire by oh, myself. Oh, great. We have bad tires. But. <laughs> you heard it. You heard I it. I think that I could. The only problem would be if the spare was flat. Have you checked it? No. Yep. Are that's one of those to? things. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. There's a compressor in the trunk, and there's a plug kit in the glove box, so you can plug it up and then compress the tire back up. Yeah. And my best friend lives in Tucson now. She yeah. Knows, she knows what she's doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's cool. I like that. Uh -huh. A manly woman. That's yeah. great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll let her know you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. She scares me. <laughs> Kara, you scare me. <laughs> Not even scary. She's a Libra. I don't know. She's one of them chicks that if she looked you dead in the eyes, I'd run away. <laughs> scares the shit out of me. <laughs> like punch a bitch in the nose kind of thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't I don't confront. That's funny. And she looks like she wants to yell at me when she talks. Ben told me that he, w he would never mind <laughs> joking, if I took, took a trip with Kara, which I will be doing soon, uh, because she knows that Kara would keep me safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you keep her safe, Kara. <laughs> we took Kara out shooting. I know. <laughs> she did great. Yeah, she was scared. I think she was probably scared. But That's okay. Guns are scary. <laughs> yeah, they are. Definitely. I'm always scared when we go shooting. Yeah, they're death machines, man. <laughs> Hilarious. I want to take Kylie out shooting because she said she'd go, but her shoulder's all fucked up now. So. I can't picture... She can't even shoot a slingshot. She hurt herself. A slingshot? Yeah. Has she done that before? I'm just saying. She'd throw her arm out. Oh, yeah. At I really don't point, think she's capable of using a gun. But I don't know. I don't know. She's getting that surgery done, I think. But if she pointed a gun at me, I'd juke her and make her arm fall out. No! <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, <laughs> Ben's revenging. <laughs> Revenge? Is that what you said? Yeah. It's Is that another book word? No, it's not even the right word. Revenging. But anyway. See, she making shit up now. I knew it! <laughs> you're, just making, you're just messing with me most of the time. You're like, you don't know the philanthropy? Like, you haven't been around when the philanthropy was real huge? Stop. You don't remember the philanthropy? What if it was a real word, though? What, philanthropy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a philanthropy? <laughs> Philanthities. I was thinking philanthropy. Philanthropy? Philanthropy, yes. Thra the philanthropy. But see, it's such a weird word that it's not real. I don't believe no! it. No! Oh, my God. It's not a real word. How many silent letters are in that word? I don't want to hear it. Stupid. Philanthropy. <laughs> no silent letters. How would you know? They're silent. You wouldn't have heard it. Not it. <laughs> I don't. Like the word sing. The word sign. It pisses me off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sign. Where's the G? I know, like... Sign. Reading, reading people's names is difficult. 
I don't know. I think people do well with their name spelling. Mine's Benjamin. Benjamin. No, I mean like Makes other sense. people. Like. Yours is rainy. It's spelt rainy. Spelt rainy, why? The E is silent. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> actually, actually, Rene. the Y is silent. Oh, Rene. No. Rene. You're still not She's pronouncing Rene. The I'm, I'm and doing the I e is it, silent, yeah. too. Well, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's no I in rain. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> Hey man, when we make it big, they'll know really I was always dumb. What I, <laughs> for my name. <laughs> Which is nowhere written anywhere. And on that note. <laughs> and on that note, we thank you. Peace. Peace.